Florida is Bell Tarpons. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's never easy to say goodbye to a football season, but the best part about the football season being over is that we get to talk about awards and we get to talk about our All-Valley team, which is uh, something that I'm, I'm pretty proud of. Let's get right to it, guys. Let's start with the offensive team. Uh, quarterback, uh, it'd be hard to go wrong with Sherry Lance, Trace Barretta. It would be hard to go wrong with Javier Bergon of Rowe. I think it would be difficult to go wrong with Marco Munoz of Brownsville Vets. There's about five or six guys who really stood out to me this year uh, as great quarterbacks. Uh, we're going to go with Trace uh, from Sherry Land. He had that great completion percentage, uh, 33 touchdowns, only six interceptions. Uh, fantastic player, did whatever he needed to get the job done, won 12 games in a row, he and his team, by the way. Now, the running backs uh, on the All-Valley offensive team are outstanding, uh, and they're both young, so we're going to be seeing them both play next year. Uh, Trevor Spates, the kid from McCallum Memorial, had over 1,600 yards, 11 touchdowns, and just electrified everybody at certain points along the curve. You know, he had 261 in the bi-district game against Harlingen, so uh, he's going to be amazing, and he already is amazing. The other kid, Harlingen South, Jaden Taylor, uh, you know, he was a receiver as a freshman, was a back this year. He bulked up. He didn't lose his speed, rushed for more than 1,500 yards, had some amazing games, a couple of 200-yard games. So, you know, if you said those are your two backs, I got no problem with those kids right there. Uh, receivers, these guys, one was a pure receiver. Adrian Salazar of Rowe, 74 catches, the only kid to go over 1,000 yards, had 16 touchdowns. He was kind of the, uh, the leader uh, of that Rowe offense, him and Obergone. So that, he's a pure receiver. The other two kids on the first team offense, though, are more hybrids, right? They play a little running back. They play a little receiver. First kid is Estefan Castillo for Sherryland, uh, 18 yards a catch, ton of touchdowns. I saw him against the Kona Medias get eight for 152 and four touchdowns, and it was just – it was just too easy, and that was a good defense. Only gave up 270 for the year per game. So, you know, all year that guy made big plays. A number of kids they had could do that. I think you saw how valuable that person was when he could not play late in the playoffs, and they just really needed him to play. So, Stefan had a, a super year. Uh, the other guy, see, mirror image, uh, Isaias Martinez of Eckhout Salsa. I, I would say that if you're looking at a pound for pound best athlete in the Valley, he's pretty close. He's fast, he's strong, he's got great instinct. The other thing I like about him is that he's just a little bit, I don't know, I always say competitive. I mean, he doesn't want you to tackle him. He, does, he wants to tackle you. He has a lot of desire. And I really thought that that, combined with his athleticism, made a perfect pick for the team. So now you've got Trace, a quarterback. You've got the two good kids at running back. And these uh, wide receivers, you can put them in motion and run the jet sweep. You can do a lot of things with these guys. I really feel like this, we had some great offensive players in the Valley. Now let's look at the offensive line. A couple of them are guys that we had selected at the beginning of the year on our preseason All-Valley team, including, including the kid from Raymondville, Rubacaba. Uh, Rafael or Ralph, uh, he's headed for college. Fantastic player. We, we mentioned how good he was, and he, he and his team made it to the second round of the playoffs. That's good for Raymondville. David Unseldua, Edinburgh North, probably the most physically imposing player in the Valley if you think about it, and I think that uh, you know, he's coming back for a senior year. I believe he's going to be a D1 recruit, already getting some calls and feelers and whatnot. Just a, just a great kid, too. Uh, here's a guy who we hadn't talked about much, Rick Pettis of Donna. If you didn't see Donna play, Aldo Silva. Uh, you know, the, uh, El Pidio Giannis, all these guys that had good running games. Rick Pettis was big 75, and man, he was just a horse, you know. I mean, he was the type of guy who, how are you going to get around him? And Because he's strong as a bull, he's huge, and let me tell you what, he can move out for a big kid. I enjoy watching him. He had a lot of personality. A lot of those Donna kids were fun to see this year because they were really having a good time. They were into the game. They had a good time playing. Uh, another big kid over at Hidalgo was Frankie Pedraza. This guy, 300-pounder. You know, Hidalgo had that seven-win season. They moved the ball real well. Uh, Coach Ford and those guys are really happy with the job that that kid did. I mean, let's face it, at 3A, at 300 pounds, that's going to be difficult to deal with. So we really felt like he had a super year. And finally, Tim Ruiz, the old standby at Memorial. You know, he just knows how to play football. And he's a good-sized kid. You know, they ran the ball well again this year with the kid. And, uh, you know, Tim Ruiz was right in the middle of that. Now, kicker, our kicker that we picked on the preseason Valley team, uh, actually ended up having a great year. Christoph Martinez, a junior from Edinburgh High, made nine field goals. Three of them were from 40-plus, and I believe there were two 49-yarders. He could have made one of those 49-yarders from about 60 or 65. The kid's got a tremendous leg. So you, uh, in a minute, we're going to come back and try to put a defense next to this offense, but I feel like you know, for the All-Valley football team, 9-5-6 for 2012, that's a pretty good group of kids.